Hello, how's everyone doing today? It is Burke Family 54 Comics. My name is Steve. Welcome to another one of my live streams. I'm excited to have my guest on today to talk some comic books and how to run a comic book YouTube. But before I bring him in, I would like to invite you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. And check out my 1,000 subscriber giveaway. Link to that video is in the description. All right, uh, let's go ahead and bring in my guest. Uh, you know him as a comic jabroni. His name is Edwin. What's up, man? What's going on, everybody? Edwin, the comic jabroni coming at you guys. What's up, Steve? Thanks for inviting me on the show, brother. What's up, man? How you doing today? Oh, man, I'm just living my best life. Living man, your best life. Living my best life. You know, at least trying to out here in Georgia, man. I heard that uh -oh. you are finding some new places to hunt that were untapped potential is that true some, some gold mines out here man i'm not sure if there's any comic collectors out here i'm just finding so much great stuff great Dude, stuff I, that's amazing uh let's go let's let's go ahead and hit up the chat we got some people up in here uh ruben guzman was the first one in here what's up ruben man Same ruben uh magic lasso hello how's it going uh, Simon R, how's it going? Uh, obviously, you're in here. Yep, I had some technical difficulties. We got to figure it out. Hopefully, uh, I think I think we're looking all right. Yours still yours still looks a little pixelated to me. I don't know why. But How do I look? Do I look like an eight bit video game, guys? If I do, I'll have to figure something out. I don't know. Uh, Perry, dude, this guy had seventy one thousand views in the last forty eight hours. I told I messaged him. I said you need to do more of those uh, <laughs> not family friendly uh, streams you guys did the other night. Oh god, no, that, <laughs> that fell off the rails big time. Yeah, it did. Uh, you have any idea what it's like for new people that have to wait a year between? <laughs> he has no idea. No idea. What's up, John? I did get your question, and I'm going to ask Edwin because I got a ton of questions. Oh lord, uh, kid collector, what's up? Selwyn, hey, what's up? Uh, I would like to say Selwyn is going to be on my channel this coming Saturday. I'm going to be hosting an auction. He's going to be on there along with five other people. We're going to be selling some uh, comic books, so that's going to be fun. Ryan Pond, what's good, man? Uh, yeah, is the number one tip consistency? Uh, I think it's definitely up there. Consistency is definitely up there for sure. Um, let's see here. Carlito, what's up? I, I can't hit everyone's questions yet. I'm just trying to say hi to everyone. H-Town, what's up? Uh, Evan Shimko. Uh, yes, I do have one coming up. Uh, auctions, jabroni favorites. Yes. Abraham, what's up? 74,000. Dude, you're rocking it. You're killing it. Uh, I don't see. know. What if I leave the studio and I jump back in? Will I look better? I don't know. Let's, let's try it out. I, I, I did pull up YouTube. And I'm looking, I'm looking like a tall you're looking, you're, You are looking like a million bucks. I don't know. I don't know. I'll be right back. Okay, sounds good. Um, hope everyone is doing well. Uh, I am. What do you guys think about my shirt? I wore this uh, a week or two ago. My wife got this for me. It's a girl dad shirt for Father's Day. Um, oh, yeah. You do look better. Oh, thanks. Yeah, thanks. There you go. I don't know. That's why, that's why I don't like, I, I hate StreamYards. I like uh, StreamLabs. Yes, yes. Well, and that is something we'll talk about. Uh, yeah, he said you were, you were looking a little, a little rough around there. the edges. I am an ugly, ogre-looking dude. Uh, no, you're not. You're, you're pretty... You're pretty, uh, pretty, pretty thanks. Thanks, Steve. Yeah. Okay, uh, so I, I did send you some questions. We're going to try to go over just a few of those really quick. Let me make sure I pull them up because I did not write them down. Uh, Edwin, if people don't know you, when did you get into comic books? Was it at a young age? Was it in the last couple of years? When did you officially get into comic books? You know, as, as a kid, I had I had comics, right? In the 90s, I, I collected. I, I wouldn't even say I really collected. I just had some and I would read them. I, um, I remember the first books that I ever really read was that Marvel versus DC, the, the, the fight between those two. And then, uh, you know, I got into high school, didn't really read comics anymore. But after I joined the army and I got out actually in 2015, that's when I really started getting into this collecting game. And it, it really is all because of my friend, Alan. So if you guys saw my unboxing of my grail, y'all met Alan in that video. And, and Alan and I, we worked together night shift at the hospital and 
um, he really got my, my, my blood flowing for collecting and reading comics. So that, that's, I, I would say like 2015 is when I really started deep diving into this comic game. And what, what did you dive into when you first started collecting? Was it Tur turtles, dude? Turtles. Turtles. Turtle. It was it it was Turtles forty four. I had heard that they, spoiler alert, they killed Donnie off. Yes. Right. I had heard oh, yeah. that, and I said, yeah. "What? There's no way." I hadn't read any of the IDW uh, Turtles run, so I, I just went. I drove straight to my comic shop, asked if they had, and they had a second printing of it. Which at the time I st I didn't even understand what that meant first print second print what the I I don't care I just want to read this and that really got me going my first short box of comics was all IDW Turtles and I wanted to complete that run because I think by that by the time I jumped in they were probably up to issue fifty two or fifty three so I had a lot of backtracking to do did you end up grabbing all of the issues one through fifty two I have I have them, I have them all all retailer incentives. Oh, one in ten wow. retailer incentives. My whole my whole collection of IDW turtles is is complete, man. That's crazy, man. I, but I love the story, man. I just love what IDW has done with the turtles. It's it's what we remember as kids with some new twists on them. Okay, all right. And you, that's not the only uh, comic books that you collect. I, I see some Batman back there. I see some oh, yeah. tech. Detective Comics, do you into Batman too? Yeah, Batman and Turtles has been my, I would say like my kryptonite. I just, I can't go to the comic shop and not at least pick up one Batman or Turtles book. That's the first two things that I look for when I go to any brand new shop. Turtles, and then I go Batman Detective or Detective Batman, whichever one I, you know, I get to first. Okay, okay. I like it. I like it. For a little while there, Detective Comics, in my opinion, the new ones were way better writing than the Batman. But I, I feel like right now, Batman, that title is amazing right now. Uh, yeah, what James Tynan is doing is, uh, is really great. Yep. Uh, did you hear Marvel about Alien and Predator? Yes. That's a sure big did. news. Yeah. Big news lately. Let me see. I know. I just, I just picked up. I just picked these up, actually. Nice, the Predator. The first, the first fight between, the first fight between Alien and Predator, and that's the A and the B cover. Okay, I like it. I yeah, like it a lot. And, and you can't beat those prices, man. Seven bucks for both of those, dude. You cannot beat that. I'll tell you what, uh, Alex Tapia. I don't know if you know who he is. The Tapia family. He went to uh, Torpedo Comics in Las Vegas. I think it was yeah. yesterday. Dude, their price. He was skimming through them. It had all the prices in front of like the, I think it was Team and T Adventures. The yeah. one was like ten to fifteen dollars. I'm like, that's that's nuts to me because some of those books I've never even. I don't think they're any keys. They're just marked up way high because it's Torpedo Comics, and then you can go to stores in Georgia and get everything for great, well, the, great prices. So this, so this one I got here is that is issue seventy one. So this is the 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 one right before the end. And it's, it's a higher priced one because it's a low print run. Um, this is actually the story where we find out why the turtles have the weapons that they have. Oh, nice. they didn't, they, they didn't just have, you know, what they have. They, there's a story behind it. Nice. I did not know that. I, I will say the IDW series, the first like five issues, six issues when we're all wearing red bandanas, um, when they're trying to find dude, that was brilliant. The way that yeah. they intermixed that that was brilliant writing for Take sure you back to the originals we have lots of people in here i hope everyone is doing well so we've talked a little bit about uh when you started getting into comics what you're into when did you decide you wanted to do a comic book youtube man and when did you start my that? First, i don't even know my first video i think was 2018 i, I think it's 2018 so like two years ago um one of my best friends from san antonio i've known this guy since seventh grade He's he's up. He's got a big YouTube channel, Eight Bit Eric. Um, okay. And and he, you know, he would tell me like, dude, jump into into YouTube. You collect all these comics. Make a YouTube channel. There is a there's there's an opening for it. Kind of what you would like. Video games. There's so many people playing video games. There's so many people doing these others. But man, go get it. Make a YouTube for for comics. And, and I said, hey, to hell with it, man. Just like everybody else. Like, okay, let's record videos. And if you watch those first videos, it's way different than what I do now. 
So yeah, uh, 2018, he, my, my buddy Eric said, do it. And I said, okay. 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 And, and your channel it. has evolved immensely since then. Yeah, you, it has definitely changed. You guys, you used to do a buyer pass show. What? I've never heard of that show. Never, never heard of buyer pass. <laughs> never, never heard of buyer pass. It's a, it, like it's not really an inside joke. Like we give Rod so much crap about buyer pass because we don't do it anymore, and he does another show on Tuesdays, and we're always giving him crap about it. So wh when did that end? What, when was it decided that was in? Uh, yeah, it wasn't really. It just wasn't even decided. It just didn't. Have, we did a year of it. Yeah, we did one full year of it, and then um, we all kind of just did our own things. I I, I don't know. I, I can't even really like point to like what happened okay um and i probably could but that's not that's not to be spoken of for sure for sure no we're, we're yeah for sure uh cop it or drop it is a new hotness yes that's, I, mean, yep. I do enjoy that show <laughs> uh the one show where only me and jabroni read books <laughs> rod's always behind on his reading man dude he is i sent that's him awesome. a picture of uh uh spoiler uh, reverse flash killing Godspeed by breaking his neck. And I was like, dude, have you seen this? He's like, no. Well, before that, I said, dude, crazy thing happened at the end of the issue. He's like, spoil me. So I sent him a picture. He's like, yeah, I got that on order. I haven't read it yet, though. But that's crazy. And then he, then he put it on uh, uh, Instagram. Oh, he, yeah, he put it on Instagram. Oh, more than expecting this. <laughs> I did that to him a week or two before that. Rod's like three months behind on his reading, it's man. Crazy. Yeah, he's a good dude, though. Uh, what's up, Simon? How's Simon, going? what's up, man? Uh, so we have a lot of people in here that have their own YouTube channel. Let me give me one. Oh, yeah. I want to pull this up really quick. Um, what has been like a biggest, like one of the bigger struggles for you? Is it just trying to put out consistent content? Is it trying to find new ideas? Is it trying to promote yourself more? Like what is the biggest struggle that you've had in the two years or so that you've had your comic book YouTube channel? My laziness. I'm, dude, you guys, if you follow me on Instagram, like I show these videos of me working out and you're like, oh damn, Edwin, tip top and up. But I'm lazy is all get out, dude. I would rather sit on that couch, read comics and play video games than actually like put it in a, just some work to record a video. And I'm here by myself. So you would think, dude, you should be pumping out videos after video, but I just get lazy and that's the, my struggle is I just get into this funk where I just, I don't feel like recording a video today or I don't feel like editing a video today. And that's, I have to get over that hump and that's something that I need to tell people like, dude, you gotta get past that sometimes. It's, it just sit there, it, it takes me, it takes me like 20 minutes to record a video and then maybe another 20, 25 minutes to edit. So it's not that mm -hmm. long, but damn it, I just, oh, I get lazy, brother. Dude, I completely understand it. Like in my head, I'm like, all right, I got this. I want to do this video for tomorrow. I haven't shot it yet. It'll take me an hour, two tops. And I just keep putting it off, man. I, yeah. I completely understand what you're saying yeah. for sure. And uh, it's Chris it's not even. What's up? What's, oh, I need some relics. Like, what's up, man? It's it's not even like coming up with ideas because I have ideas. I've, I, I don't, I'm not much of a writer person. Like writing it down, I have it all in my head. But I, I have these ideas for videos, and I know what I want to do. And damn it, I'm just lazy sometimes, man. Jabroni without a tank top on, me, dude. We're both sleeve. wearing sleeves. Let me like, roll the, the sleeve. Time ever. Oh, if I you guys didn't watch Thursday nights, <laughs> I didn't even have a tank top on. We were shirts yeah. off that night. Oh, <laughs> that was insane. I had no idea what was happening. Newbie no. Comics, they messaged me, and he goes, "Did." I just had to leave a stream because everyone was getting naked. <laughs> was... I'm like, what do you mean? And he told me, I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to go check that out now. It was like, <laughs> it was like one of those bad movies where you just couldn't look away. You know yeah, what I mean? It's a, tra it's a train it was... wreck. You can't, you can't stop watching. It was pretty fun. Uh, Chubby Pop Chaser, making videos is like working out. You skip a day and it's hard to get back in the groove. In the groove yeah. Dude, I 100% agree with that for sure. Um, what, I, I, what I will say is, I know that there are certain days that I have videos that, that people are kind of looking forward to. I Like Cop It or Drop It comes out on Mondays now because we have DC books on Tuesdays. So I know that at some point during the weekend, I need to record a Cop It or Drop It episode. Boom. Got it. Too easy. I can do that. I go hunting for books. 
I don't want to wait two or three weeks after I've forgotten what this store was like. So I try to record that the next day after I've been to that store. So there, there are times where I'm like, okay, I know I have to get a video out. I can't be lazy. How many videos are you putting out right now on your channel, like weekly? Two, two, two videos a week. And how many live streams are you doing? Man, maybe one. It was one every week. I was doing a Friday afternoon randomness uh, when nobody else was on on YouTube, man. I'd go live Friday afternoons at like 1 p.m. And uh, I don't know if that laziness kicks in. But now with with working here, I don't have Fridays off all the time. So I need to I need to get that going back because that's the time where I like review my books that I picked up on Wednesday. Sorry, someone is mess messaging me about how we were looking here. I, dude, I can't. I don't know what is going on. I don't know either. But we're gonna power. Through. We're just gonna. We're just gonna do it. Let me. Let me try this really quick. Because really quick. I was on Rod's stream earlier and it was. I looked okay. You know, I'm. I'm I don't know. Yeah, I don't, I don't Merck, I'm, I'm gonna blame it all on your uh, Kansas internet. Dude, yeah, I am in the middle of nowhere for sure. <laughs> Uh, let's see here. Let's see here. Uh, we had, we did have someone say something up here earlier. Uh, remember this is a family show. To hey, yeah. The shirt's staying on guys. <laughs> uh, Jabroni, I like the way you have your screen set up. Would you be willing to make a tutorial on how to, how to have your OBS set up? That is a great yeah. question because I actually messaged him and I'm like, dude, what's, I had a whole bunch of questions and one of them was like, you know, how do you, get your channel supported? What are some other ways to do things? First thing he said to me, he's like, dude, you need to set up a Streamlabs OBS. And uh, I think that'd be a really good video to do a how-to on because I feel like a lot of people, especially like me and like other ones that have like maybe 500 or less subscribers, they would really enjoy like learning how to do stuff like that. Streamlabs, Perry, um, Perry was really the one that got me into Streamlabs. And I, I had to ask him a lot of questions because Streamlabs, it's not like StreamYards where you just, hey, this is a video I want to do and let's go live. Like you right. have to, everything you see on my, when I go live, everything you see on my Streamlabs is something that I set up. Like I had to add it to the screen and those commercials that I throw in with the Ninja Turtle commercials, like that's something that I had to download and yep. add it to a different scene. And but it's so much fun once you get into it and there's so much that you can do with Streamlabs, it is a ton of fun. And I know last, uh, when did you interview JB? Was that a couple days ago? Uh, it was a week ago, yeah. A week ago. So he was he was saying the same thing, like he uses Streamlabs. Okay, okay. Yeah, it's uh, fun. This is a, you're basically the writer, director, on-screen talent, producer, Everything. editor, all of that. Everything. Aren't we all though on comment on, on YouTube? That's true. That's true. But like you're doing it all at one time for sure with that. Yeah. Uh, this is a really, really good question. Is our live streams a good way to grow a channel? Ooh. In my opinion, it depends on the audience and what types of videos you want to do. I know a lot of people only do live streams. I used to honestly, when I get, when I get lazy or I'm really busy, I will, I tend to do more live streams than recorded videos because it's super easy to jump on. For right, how, how real are we going to get? Am I going to trigger some people? I'm about to trigger people. Okay, dude. Dude, trigger, I, trigger. I think that YouTubers, you, comic YouTubers, video game, whatever, that only do live streams, it's lazy, lazy editing. You don't want to edit a video. You don't want to learn how to edit a video. You just want to go live and talk to people. And it's cool because the community likes it. It's awesome to be able to talk to the community. I get it. But at some point, you need to learn how to just edit basic editing skills. It's not hard. I use iMovie, which is the most basic of basic editing softwares. Um, and those are the kind of videos that I like to watch. I don't, I, don't jump in, I don't jump into live streams for three hours, guys. I'm sorry. No, me neither. I have a lot of other things to do. I'll jump in for 20 minutes, 30 minutes, about the time that I would give to watching an edited video. Sure. That That's makes what sense. I do. Um, so yeah, live streams are cool. I don't, but my goodness, let's edit a video every once in a while. Let's get an idea. Let's make a comic video about reviewing a comic, talking about some speculation, talking whatever, but just edit it down, man. I, I definitely agree. So here's, here's going to be my answer to that. My answer is basically, I feel like a lot of 
like the basically live streams are for your subscribers and edited videos are for people that you want to subscribe to your channel or other people that don't mind like maybe they want to skip forward and see something whatever that's good so i feel like hey dude is this the wifey that is her that is mrs yeah. jabroni Ooh, yeah. mrs jabroni yeah my she like does she like the grunts that you do oh yeah hey hey no. <laughs> <laughs> like tim like tim the tool man taylor oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Uh, this is a great question from Kachun. What is the best length for Fif best audience? 15. 10 to, 10 to 15 minutes. 20 minutes is pushing it, and I've made 20 minutes. Hell, I made a 30-minute video yeah, a few weeks ago, yeah. but that's that's because I went to four different comic shops, which in my head, I, I after I did it, I said, damn, I, I should have broken that up into f maybe three different videos, but I just went ahead and did the 30. But I try to do 15 minutes and then 20 is the max. Okay, okay, I like it. Uh, I definitely agree. I, I've heard from Bueller and many other people, they're like, you wanna do at least a 10 minute video. I have a hard time doing that. A lot of my videos are between six to nine minutes. Breaking the 10 minute mark for me is tough, but I'm, that's something I'm working on. I'm trying to get there because I'm trying to get, right now I need 1300 hours washed to get to monetization and i don't understand how you're struggling with that bert i don't know i, I don't get it man i, I had four thousand hours watched about a month before i hit my thousand subs so to me it felt like four thousand hours and a thousand subs were just going to kind of meet together at the at the at the top so i don't get it either i only i only have two videos with a thousand views so i don't know one of them's got eight thousand another one's got a thousand and everything else is 700 or less so uh, let's see here. Yeah, live streams are important because people want to interact, but you must That's put the videos out to scratch that itch. I definitely agree with that. I definitely yes. agree with that. Yes. Um, there are a lot of people, even if you just do like one take 12 minute video, because there's several people. Um, I, yeah, go That's ahead. me. I'm a one taker. Well, I, when I, 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 yeah, one -taker, I don't mean like, like the edits, because you do a lot of edits in yours. I'm talking about those people that literally turn the camera on, have no intro, no lower third, no edits, oh. turn the camera on, talk, finish it, and they just post it. People like oh, that. Okay. And like, hey. I'm, I'm doing a lot more work on my edits and all that than those people, but people watch them. So, uh, uh, I am a big advocate for make a YouTube channel, like record yourself, grab your phone. I still use my phone to record my videos. All right, so I so, just- So does Jim Mint. I set, I set this phone up, I record the video, it's a one take video, if I mess up the, the record, it's still recording, and uh, I'll, you know, I'll edit it down from there. Uh, Jeff Comic, what's up, Comic Jabroni? Yeah, what's up, Jeff? Uh, the Cantonese kid. What are the links of those two videos? You know, I'm not sure. I think one of them is only five and a half minutes, so I feel like if that video was, you know, 10 minutes versus five minutes, I would be at 4,000 hours. Okay, so so here's something else that a lot of people on on YouTube don't really take into effect is your analytics. And I yeah. think Bueller talked about it as well. Your analytics, you gotta look at how long is the audience audience retention? Yeah. How long are people staying through the video? Not just are they are they jumping in and then they, they jump out two minutes in, you know, or are they staying for the almost the whole thing? Uh, your click through rate, how are your thumbnails? How yep. are your tags? How is your, the, what you're naming that video? All of this goes into effect with an edited video. Live mm -hmm. streams, not so much because the people that are watching your live streams are people that are already subscribed to you. If you want new subscribers, it's the editing and those little things that are gonna get you those new subs. Absolutely, I agree 100% with everything you just said. Uh, dude. I'm excited. You should do a video one. Let's let's. Yes, you do edit your videos. You do you you do like one live stream a week, but I most of your videos aren't edited. Uh, oh, okay, Abraham. Thanks for stopping in, man. We'll see you later. Uh, let's see here. Yeah. So my top, I have one video of 1,100 views, and it is just under 10 minutes. It's nine minutes 53 seconds, and then my other video that has 8,000 views. Um, that video is five and a half minutes. Long. So, 
And you say you struggle? You struggle getting to 10 minutes? I don't know what it is. I don't know what it I, is. I struggle getting to 20, like getting to under 20 sometimes. And then I have, to, I have to cut, I have to cut the hell out of the video. I need to, I need to ramble more, I guess. I need to <laughs> Uh, you know, and, and something else I wanted to talk to everybody about here is you got to kind of come up with a gimmick, right? Like I'm, I'm the comic jabroni, but I'm Edwin. And all the comic jabroni is, is Edwin turned up just a couple notches, you know, that's it. When I'm home or it, when I'm with Perry, like the time that I met Perry, when I, um, I met Rod, you can ask them. The comic jabroni that you see on the video is who they met, man. Like, I am just this person turned up just a little bit, man. So, um, you, 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 can't be, you can't be robotic. Your voice has to come across. Um, you have to be kind of pleasing to the eye, which I'm not. I'm an ugly ogre. But, hey, it, it, it works. I'm <laughs> an ugly ogre, and that's okay. But yeah, you have to you have to come up with some sort of a gimmick for your 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 videos, man. Something that's gonna engage with the audience. Like, oh damn, okay, this guy, I, I like I like the things that he's saying. I like the way he sounds. Maybe the music. I play the music in the background, which I think is all psychological, and it seems to work because people people comment on it, so they like it, man. So you you gotta you gotta come up with some type of gimmicks for your videos. I need to do better intros. My intros where I talk. Uh, it's not good. I need to. I need to make it more. Robot Burke. Robot Burke. You notice. You notice it too. So oh my yeah, God. I'm not the only hey, one. Hey, hey, I'm Steve with Burke Family Fifty Four Comics. Like, brother, you got to get your hands in there, man. You'd be like, yo, what's going on, guys? My name is Steve with Burke Family Fifty Four Comics, and today, like, do something, man, to bring that audience in. Make it more energetic. I'm, I'm working on that. Uh, let's see here. Hey, comic Jabroni, you're going to need a trailer to take all of them books back home by the time you go back. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Guys, I, I came here with two short boxes. I'm probably going to be leaving here with 10. <laughs> Dude, that's crazy, man. God, I don't know what's... Hey, guys, I apologize for the way the video looks on my end. I, I don't know. I'm hardwired into the computer. I have no idea what's going on. I don't know either, man. Uh, ugly ogre here, too. That's why you don't see my face. <laughs> Uh, let's see here. I, I can talk for days, which is why I have to edit. Okay, all right. Uh, I'm looking like the Matrix now. I don't know yeah. about that. Uh, the only time Burke uses his hands is when he throws up the cats. If anyone doesn't know what this is, this is a W C for Wildcats. I'm like, oh, I thought it was. I thought it was West Coast. Wildcats for K State. <laughs> I know. I got all my K State stuff right there. There, there you go. Uh, uh, here we go. Uh, uh, so Chad, Chad keeps saying my edited videos get the least amount of views. I put all that work into editing does not get a good response. It's always discouraging. So that's one thing you can't, can't be discouraged, right? Even when I first started, you watch my first videos, there's 20 views, 30 views. And even now I'm only getting 200, 300, maybe 400 views. You, you, that, that teaches you, like, you start w looking at your analytics. Okay, what, what are people not liking about this? Sure. And you, cha you change things up. I changed the, the, the length of my intro. I have changed that ending portion that I used to put in all of my videos that would show, like, last video, another video, subscribe. I changed all of that because people were not tuning into that stuff. Uh, Chubby Pop Chaser, I went to Houston. In 2000, fall of 2006, it was December 2006, when K-State played Rutgers and you guys whooped our butts. But I was there for the for the bowl game. Ray Rice ran all over us. Uh, I don't show my face because I want to prove myself I can do this without my extraordinary attractiveness. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that is amazing. Yeah, I, I did put a link to the Jabroni's uh, page. In the I am – I am 20 away from 1500, man. I'm trying to hit that 1500 subs, man. Wow, that's awesome, dude. It's that's been a, it's been a work. Do you miss your number your team and team number 1 jabroni? Man. Man, I like I miss the family and then that that number 1, which which who spoiler, my LCS here in town might be getting a number 1 first print. Whoa. And, and it, it, I hope the wife's not watching, but the comic jabroni is about to get another one if that happens. <laughs> that's that's happening. Guys. 
Breaking news. Yeah. If it ha- if it happens, the comic jabroni is going to grab another one, especially if it's an upgrade. Oh yeah. I definitely okay. want to uh, like I have a seven zero, which okay, you know, but I want to upgrade it. I want to get a seven five eight zero. Work my way up. I understand exactly what you're saying. Uh, I like when Jabroni plays old school gaming sound effects in his videos. Yes, he does. I like those. It's it's psychological, guys. It brings you back to a time when you were a kid and you just sat in your underwear on Saturday mornings watching cartoons and playing games and eating cereal, man. And it just it brings you into the video. Rod is in here. What's up, Rod? How's it going, brother? Rod. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Rod's, uh, my, Rod's my homie. He is a good. He's a great guy. Uh, I only started YouTube because my wife was excited enough to join me in an adventure. She's a personality. Public speaking has always been tough for me. Okay, all right, I get you. Uh, yo, what's up, dude? Uh, let's see here. I got I got some more questions here for the Jabroni. Ooh, ooh, yeah. <laughs> uh, club, baby. Okay, so Total you. Club. Okay, so if people don't know uh, why. Really quickly, why are you not with your family? Is it the military? And since you're by yourself a lot, how often do you go to comic book shop? Uh, yeah, so I am right now mobilized through the Army Reserves uh, to Fort Gordon in Augusta, Georgia. Uh, it is a it's a blood it's a blood mission. So I'm just I'm working at a donor center. Uh, I'll be here for nine more months. And uh, yeah, since the family's not here, I don't have much else to do except for play video games, go to the gym, and go to comic shops. So if you've watched my my latest videos, it's all about traveling to these towns around and just going to brand new shops that seem like untapped gold mines. Why aren't people going to these shops? There are so many awesome books there, man. So many. Yeah, un- you said untapped potential. Untapped potential potential and i left so many awesome books behind right what i picked up was just this yeah just a little bit uh so how often how often do you go to stores is it every day is it every other day or no uh so on just a regular week i'll go on tuesday and wednesdays i'll pick up dc books on tuesday and then wednesday i'll pick up the rest of the books uh about once every two weeks, I'll go to the other shop that I just dropped the video on yesterday, Dead Media Collectibles. I'll go yeah. there every like I once. I, I got the notification. I'm like, it was 4th of July. It was, it was tough to. Yeah, no, but definitely check. Oh, man, that shop is so awesome. No new comics. It's all old stuff. But God, I love that shop. And then uh, I, I want to do once a month, go to a different city and go check out comic shops. So Charleston, South Carolina is coming up. Mm-hmm. Charlotte, North Carolina is coming up. Atlanta, whenever the army finally lets us go to Atlanta, because right now Atlanta's on the uh-uh, the no-fly zone. Right. Because of the whole COVID. Um, what did Two Guns say? Jabroni, you should be able to get plenty of subs if you do a reaction video to one of... <laughs> <laughs> I should. I should do that. Oh, let, me, let me react to Perry reacted. That's the fire alarm. Uh oh. I think the whole building. I think we're having a fire alarm. What the fuck, man? Is this elementary school? Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna remove this thing, and then when you come back, I'll just add you. All right, man. Uh, so that was unplanned. <laughs> Hope everyone is doing well. Uh, we're gonna. I'm gonna try to answer some of the questions that you guys have about how to run a comic book YouTube. And I'm not saying. I know a lot because obviously I brought Jabroni on here for a reason. He knows a lot more about this stuff than I do. He's doing a, an amazing job in his channel. He's got some great supporters. He can answer a lot more questions than I can, but I want to try to do my best to talk about how to run a comic book YouTube channel and how to have fun while you're doing it as well. Um, we had lots of people in here. Yeah, I did tell Edwin uh, Panda that when he drops the Mikey Team and T shirt that you'd probably get one. Um, how, how can you get more subscribers? Uh, you have like 7,000, dude, you went up like, like three or 4,000 in like two months. What are you talking about? Uh, I actually, I do know actually that some people buy ads for their channels to try to get more people to click on it, to basically add more um, impressions. You can, you can actually pay for that. So maybe you could try that. I don't know. Yes. You must protect them books. Uh, Let's see here. Carlito must have said, grab your books. 
I think I think it's just a drill. So, um, hello, Carlito. I left to buy more Lobo books. <laughs> uh, dude, Perry, I I enjoyed your video um, where you're like opening up the cabinet, like, oh, didn't see you there. Like it, like no, like of course you put the camera in there. Obviously, it's I don't know. I just thought it's pretty good uh, comedy, and uh, then you're making coffee in that video. I don't know. Your videos are pretty good, and you had a lot of good. Um, comedy and context to your videos when you're re reacting <laughs> to those um, MCU movies. I like it. You're stuck at 949 subscribers. Everyone sub up Chubby Pop Chaser. Um, if Panda can go ahead and put a link to his channel in the chat, that'd be awesome. We got about 30 people in the chat. Um, so it'd be great if someone could add the link to that channel. Um, I have noticed that as I've gone up more and subscribers a lot of a lot of my new subscribers are actually like like funko pop fans and they also like comic books as too but mostly they like funko pops and um that's cool whoever, whoever uh subscribes to me is great by me so um maybe they saw my my jdf my sign jdf uh funko pop i have three pops and this is one of them uh that I got it as an A-OK -okay from Chino and Manny over at r, &R Comics. Uh, Carlito says that he hates pops. Hey, uh, thank you, uh, Panda. I appreciate that, bro. It's because of that Green Ranger. Yes. Okay, people are subbing uh, Chubby Pop Chaser now. That's awesome. Um, why don't you guys go ahead and put in the chat, what, what are some questions that you guys have about how to run a comic book YouTube? Um, someone did ask earlier – a lot of it is about consistency. I have been putting out at least one video every single day, whether it's a live stream or a edited video. Sometimes there's two. Today, today I had an edited video that came out at 9.30 in the morning. Check it out. It's 15 Spider-Man comics to invest in. Please check it out. Um, and then obviously I have a live stream tonight. So sometimes I'll do two videos. Sometimes I do one live stream. Sometimes I do just an edited video. But for me, I notice that my channel like really started soaring when I was able to um, put out at least one um, piece of con piece of content every single day. Um, yeah, I started Funko Pops years ago when my dad had a stroke to get mind off things. I got back into comics a couple months back when my girl told me I'm going to have a daughter. Dude, nice. Um, if people did not already check it, um, I did do a stream one week ago today with the whole Burke family. It's just me and my wife and my five-year-old daughter, which she is amazing. She's one of the coolest people on the planet. She likes Power Rangers. She likes pretty much anything girl-related, um, and she's an amazing swimmer, and she's obviously she's a great kid. Um, so our little family was on here a week ago. I'm going to try to get, get them back on in another week or two, try to make that once or twice a month type deal where people can ask questions to the whole Burke family. Uh, hey, Comic Mag Musings, what's up? How are you guys doing today? Now you now you feel like a jerk? Why do you feel like a jerk? Uh, let's see. Do you sell on YouTube? So, Joseph, uh, this coming Saturday, I'm going to be doing a comic book auction with Selwyn, Mike V, Panda, Dustin, Los, and... There's one more. I know I forgot who it is. Um, it's one other person. And Hawaiian Punch 72. They're all going to be joining me to sell books this coming Saturday at 1.30 p.m. Eastern time. Um, we're going to run for two to three hours or so. They're going to have buy it nows. They're going to have auctions. I'm not going to be selling anything. I'm just going to be hosting it. Um, so I'm excited about that. What are your expectations from your subscribers, if you have any? Um, my expectations are right now to try to get to just 1,100 subscribers and then 1,200. Um, as far as like what they do, if people want to comment, whether it's in the live chat or the um, comments in a regular video, that would be awesome. They don't have to. Um, I get. I would just. I really like the uh, interaction. Basically, that's why I like live streams a lot. Um, and once I get it set up, um, if people want to support the channel, they can. They don't have to. Um, for as little as like a dollar a month, um, that's that'd be awesome if people did that. And 
I want to start trying to sell t-shirts if people want. Um, I have some ideas for some. I haven't shown anyone these ideas, so I'm excited. I'm probably going to show, show those off to my Thursday night chat friends first, Panda, Dustin, and Ryan. Um, but I have some pretty good ideas. So as far as just expectations, just, just as long as they're positive and they're having fun, that's great. As long as we don't have any more daddy piss berries, that'd be awesome. <laughs> Uh, I'm doing a video of my daughter soon. Dude, hit me up on uh, Instagram with the link when you post that. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to try to do a, an auction once a month or once every other month. I don't like selling any of my own stuff, but if people want to come on my channel and help sell stuff and help the community, um, that's awesome. Let's see here. Ruben, don't forget to turtle smash the like button, y'all. Yes, that would be awesome if people turtle smash, Hulk smashed, punch the notification bell, all that stuff. That'd be great. Uh, my mom makes fun of me for my statues. Well, I just turned on notifications on for my mom and my stepdad, so they are notified every time they go live. I want to message them really quick to see, hey, you guys watching? I don't think so because they uh, they were working today because they own a, they own an Ace Hardware. People didn't know I have an Ace Hardware commercial on my channel from like five or six years ago. I have it on there because I used to work at Ace Hardware because my parents own an Ace Hardware. Uh, are you watching my live stream, Mummy? <laughs> uh, Solo Wookie, how do your hours watch mean so much? Explain that for people who don't know how it all works. Okay, so to, basically, in order to get mo monetized, which is you get ads on your videos, you can also have people um, do super chats and other things. You have to have at least 1,000 subscribers, which I do. I have 1,062. Um, and you have to have 4,000 hours watched in, th in a one-year span. Right now, I am at, and these are public watch hours. Um, as of today, because it just it just updates once a day, I'm at 2,688 hours. So basically, I need 1,300 more hours watched to get ads on my videos. Um, and so that's kind of why I'm doing more live streams, because you get a lot more hours watched. Let's say 30 people watch the whole stream uh, for an hour. That's 30 hours just right there. And if you put out another video like a, I did today, an edited video, then I'm just getting more and more and more. So my goal is to try to get, you know, 10 to 20 hours watched a day every day. And after another two months, hopefully I'm at 4,000 hours watched so I can start getting ads on my videos. Uh, yeah, Kevin, make sure you subscribe to Kevin, Superpower Review. He's a great guy. He loves Spider-Man, Venom, Batman. He does great stuff. He's got more subscribers than me. He actually has like 1250. He's a great dude. Uh, yes. So hit up uh, Shameless Plug. Oh, wait. Is this you? Okay. Every, shameless Plug. Okay. Everyone hit up Panda Awesome 316's channel. He's about to put out a video this week. He's going to be doing an unboxing of CGC books. Speaking of unboxing CGC books, I got two Silver Age goodness books coming up back tomorrow. I'm going to record that video. I'm going to, I'm going to open it and I'm going to post that on Tuesday. On Tuesday night, I'm going to have Kevin on my channel uh, talking about what do you collect. On Thursday, I have my Thursday night chat with the boys, Dustin, Panda, and uh, Ryan. And obviously on Saturday, I have my auction and I'm going to have lots of other videos throughout the week as well. Can't you put your PayPal in the description or no? Yeah, you can. That's how we do the auctions. So, I mean, I'm not going to put that in there until I get to 4,000 um, hours watched just because I don't want to be begging people for money. So if people want to do a super chat when I'm live, that's awesome. Or if people want to do like a $1 a month support the channel, that's awesome too. Um, but that's not something I'm going to do uh, right now at least. Uh, let's see here. Maybe – more people will watch now maybe people will watch more understanding why yeah so i mean i put in a lot of work people didn't know i put in a lot of work every day so for instance the video that dropped this morning that was my 15 comic books to um 15 spider-man comics to invest in 
I think that took me 20 minutes or so to shoot, and it's like nine and a half minutes, 10 minutes long. It took me probably an hour and a half to edit, maybe an hour, hour and a half, hour, hour and a half or so to edit. So, I mean, that's two hours of work just right there. I'm, li I'm going live right now. That's going to be another hour. I mean, I'm putting in lots of hours to try to get myself to 4,000 hours. Burke, you're going to do a CTC packing video too? Yeah, so I, I talked to Carlito about this. Um, a lot of people ask me how to ship a comic book or how to ship it to CGC because they don't want their books getting messed up because obviously when you send books in the mail, there's a chance it could get messed up. So I'm going to try to make a video on how to ship comic books correctly or how to ship to CGC. That is something that I'm going to be doing hopefully this week. Um, I have a list of videos that I'm going to be trying to do. That is definitely one of them. I need to start a new media outlet and call it Freedom Tube. There you go. There you go. Um, I want to try to actually start some more social media things to support this channel so people can find me on different social medias because right now I'm just on Instagram and YouTube. I mean, I'm on Twitter as well, but that's my personal account, so I'm going to try to set one up for the YouTube. In terms of time, I just, in terms of time, I never exit someone's video early. If you don't like it, you can just mute it and move on and help folks uh, – Help folks with the playthrough hours. Yeah, I appreciate that, Comic Proposer, who's also from Kansas. Uh, he's an hour away from – hour and 20 – hour and 30 minutes away from me over in Lawrence. Um, I live in Manhattan. Really, I live in St. George, which is 15 minutes outside of Manhattan. But no one needs to know that. But uh, Comic Proposer is also one of my Kansas boys that likes comic books. Um, I'd sign up just for comics launch it July 4th next year. There you go. You don't have to beg – but if it's there, they want to support you, then you know. So what I'm going to do actually is um, I'm going to do that Streamlabs um, OBS thing where people can sign up there to support the channel. Um, I'm hoping to do that in the next week or two. Um, you're making your list. Are you checking it twice? You're going to find out who's naughty and nice? <laughs> uh, comic proposer, a real hero, true hero. What do you use to edit your videos? I use VSDC. Okay. So I get asked this question a lot. Like, what, is, what are uh, the software and equipment that I use for my channels or for, like, any of the stuff that I do? Okay, here's what I'm going to say. I use my phone for my videos. I do have access to, to DSLR cameras that would shoot way higher quality videos and photos, but I'm not going to use those because those are my works, and I do not want to use that for personal gain. Having said that, I do get um, free editing software. Um, I use Adobe Premiere Pro to edit my videos. I could use iMovie because that's free. You could use clipchamp.com. That's another free website to use to edit videos. But I personally use Adobe Premiere Pro. You can, you can do a lot of really cool things on there, and it's honestly super easy. It's, a lot of, it's what a lot of TV stations use for editing your videos just because it's easy to use and you can add cool things to it. And it's just a lot better than a lot of the other um, software editing programs out there. Okay, let's see here. I'm going to try to – dude, I appreciate that, Kay Titus. I noticed you comment on every single video, and I really, really appreciate that. Um, I keep saying I'm going to make a whole bunch of fake news for other social media platforms, but it seems like it never had the time. Dude, I understand that. Lawrence, Kansas, the Main Street. Uh, Mass Street is what they have over there. We have Aggieville in Manhattan, Kansas. Uh, we know how to hang out and have fun. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, check out Comic Book Burrito or Comic Burrito. He seems like a cool guy. He just uh, subbed me a couple weeks ago. Appreciate that. I just switched to iMovie. From iMovie to Premiere Pro, and it's so much better, right? So, for instance, um, I've been editing videos or working on video, and like, I went to school for journalism at K State, and I've been editing videos at K State um, and in my personal career since 2008, 2009. And uh, when I've had to use iMovie before Premiere Pro or Final Cut Pro, Back in the day, like 12 years ago, it used to take like a whole day to export a video or to upload a video for it to render and all that. Now, 
you use Premiere Pro, you do a 10 minute video, it takes three minutes to export and render. So there's definitely a, a big difference in technology nowadays. And I definitely suggest trying to use the best software available to you. If you only have iMovie, that's fine. If you, if you have Premiere Pro or anything better or similar to that, I definitely suggest trying that as well. Uh, saw you on Strong on Two Bros last night, Comic Burrito. Um, let's see here. Did you edit the Ace commercial? I did not, but I was involved in the editing process, if that makes sense, producing it. I was involved in the producing of it, yes. I do not know any – see, do you know any Japanese Power Ranger shows over the 100 – okay, so they're Super Sentai, um, and that is where the Power Rangers came from. Their first show was in 1976, and it didn't come to the States until 93. That's when the first season aired. But they used, like, footage from, like, 1990 or 91 to make the first three seasons. They actually used, like, the next season, the White Ranger, from the second season a after that Super Sentai season to add to the Power Rangers. They started actually shooting a lot more of their own footage um, after season one because they ran out of footage. Um, people, A lot of people don't know, but the Green Power Ranger was only supposed to be in it for 11 episodes. Um, and then he – obviously, he was super popular, so he stayed on – after that, that's why sometimes when you watch the show, he just stays in the command center and the other ones fight because that's all they have footage of. So uh, let's see here. I did have other, some other questions for the jabroni. Um, some advice that he has for other YouTubers. My advice that I'd give to other people is to try to just be – try to have fun. Try to have fun. If you make videos on YouTube because you want to have fun. You're doing this as a hobby. Um, to have fun, to talk about comic books, to show off what you have, to show off the knowledge that you have from reading comic books, to review them. And if you're not having fun doing them, take a break or don't do it. I know uh, at least one person um, that said they weren't having fun, and so they were taking a little break. And that's, I mean, if you're not having fun, that's then don't do it. Or if you're not getting the results you want, then do that. Um, so the number one thing is for me is to have fun and appreciate what you're doing, and um, yeah, good point, right? And also, like, I don't know. I will say that I know of at least one other channel that's been doing this for, like, a year or two, and they're still not getting the views or subscriptions um, that some other channels are getting, and I just feel kind of bad for them. But you know what? They're having fun, so they're still pumping out content. Um, and, I mean, they have, I don't know, it's, like, less than a 1,000 or so. But they're, they're still having fun and putting out a lot of content. So that's all that matters. Uh, I probably would have gotten discouraged already. Um, sometimes I still even get discouraged about this channel. Um, but I'm trying to have fun. And the next biggest thing is to just be consistent, whether it's a live stream every day or a video. Or let's say you can only do two to three videos a week, do two to three videos a week. If you can only do one video a week, do one video a week. If you can do um, seven videos a week or more, do seven videos a week or more. Whatever you can do, be consistent in that because people will look for that. I know I look for Reggie's video every day when it comes out at 5.30 my time. Um, and I look for Bueller's videos. I look for all my other friends' videos because, you know, I like it. I like watching them. And so my advice would just be try to be consistent with your content. Uh, and don't change what you like or do because other people don't like watching it. For instance, I like Power Rangers. I like Ninja Turtles. I am in a, like, not a lot of people like that stuff. And that's okay. And maybe that's, maybe that's costing me viewers. Maybe that's costing me views, hours watched. That's fine. I'm still enjoying what I do. So make sure you don't change who you are just based off of how you're getting views. Um, do analytics show you who gave you a thumbs up and thumbs down? They do not, but you can download software that shows you. I do use Instagram. You can f find me at Burke Family 54 Comics. A link to that is in the description, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put it in the chat as well. I have about the same amount of followers on Instagram that I do here on YouTube. I post probably three times a week on average, I'd say. Some weeks I post – some weeks I've not posted at all. Sometimes I've posted five times. But right now I'm posting two to three times a week. Um, and a lot of times it's like videos or like photos of stuff from my videos 
to help support the channel and try to get more people to watch. I'm in, let's see here. I just saw some. I'm indifferent, but I still show love for you, bro. I appreciate that. Carlito was on my second video ever that I had on here. We were talking about, um, I think we were talking about comic book artists or comic book variants or cover artists. I can't remember, but he was on here. We talked for like two hours on my second video ever. My first couple of videos were all live videos. And uh, I feel like that's the best way to get started because then you're just like, having conversational style and you're not getting frustrated when, with yourself when you mess up because if you couldn't tell I mess up a lot when I talk because I like to talk quickly. But when you're going live, you just keep talking and you get less frustrated because you can't be frustrated because you're still going live. Uh, yes. Thank you, Panda for putting that up there. Um, does anyone else want to jump in here with me for the next 10 minutes or so? Um, because I'm not sure the jabroni's coming back. I got him in a waiting room just in case, but no one's home right now. Um, so if anyone wants to join in to talk about how to run a comic book YouTube, that'd be awesome. Man, I'm thinking about buying this book. Oh, not anymore. It's already more than the guy said I would pay the most for, but it's on, it's on auction right now on eBay. So I'm not going to spend it. I'm not going to spend any money. I'm, I am going to go see Panda in two weeks. And we're going to do a live stream together, um, and we're going to do some hunting together. We're going to do a video on hunting and obviously the live stream together as well. I mumble and always have to reshoot my video. Dude, if you see my outtakes of my videos, you would laugh. Dude, get me some. I want some Dairy Queen ice cream. I need it. I don't need it, but I'm craving it. Dude, totally get you. Totally get you. Uh, let's see. Does anyone message me here? Uh, Edwin is not coming back. They evacuated the whole building. So uh, no problem, bro. Thank you for coming on. We will have to do part two sometime soon. Do an outtakes video. Good call. Uh, actually, what I'm going to be doing, I keep saying I'm going to do my 1,000, like a look back from 1 to 1,000 subscribers, but I don't – Every time I do it, like, I don't know, it's not very much fun for me, like, looking back at my old videos because they're crappy. So I don't know if I'm going to do that. But I am going to put another video on who else to follow and subscribe to on YouTube because there's a lot of great content creators on YouTube that like comic books. Right now I have, like, 115, 120 on the list. Um, and I'm going to do it in several parts. Like, a part one is going to be the first 50 or so. And I'm going to ask for people to comment who I missed or who wasn't in that video so I can add it to the list because I don't want anyone to feel left out. Um, and then also I'm doing a CGC unboxing this week, new comic book day preview video this week. Um, and maybe that one 1000 subscriber um, video. Joe, thank you for following me on Instagram. I appreciate that. Dad, can me and Avery and Riley do spying? Outside? No, in the house. As long as you don't go in my room or the closet. We will. You will stay out of there? Okay. If anyone didn't know, I am a girl dad. I have a daughter. She's great. Uh, great idea, Burke. Yeah, uh, Panda, help, help me with that idea because I was just going to do it all in one video. And he said, dude, do it in multiple videos. Uh, is it time to play Barbies? No, not for me. Her and her friends. We have 30 people in here. I appreciate everyone for hanging out. This has been a great time so far. Um, like I said, if anyone wants to join, um, I can definitely put the link in the chat. Now go make me a waffle. I think I'll probably only sit in here for another 10 minutes or so. Dude, yeah, so I always thought I wanted a boy. And then I had a girl, and I could not be happier. Being a girl dad, being a girl dad is the best, honestly. It's so cute, and it's so amazing. Let me, let me see here. I'm going to put it in here. If anyone wants to jump on for the last 10 minutes to talk about how to run a come up with YouTube, if anyone has questions for me, like I said, if anyone has questions about how to run a comic book YouTube, put that in the live chat and I can try to answer it. Um, Burke, whatever you do, don't go zone. Zone defenses worked for the 2012 K-State uh, Big 12 champs. That cover two, that Tampa cover two, won us a Big 12 championship. So it can work if you have the right athletes. But, yeah, I don't like to go to zone. 
especially in basketball. Basketball zones are dumb. Uh, anyone have questions for me? Anyone want to jump on? Like I said, I'm going to stay for another 10 minutes or so, and we'll call it a day. Um, again, sh another shameless plug. Saturday, we're doing a comic book auction on my channel at 1.30 Eastern, having six people join me to sell some awesome books. Um, I've seen some books that people are showing that have sent me that they're, they are selling, and it is straight fire. Straight fire. Uh, let me see. Let me pull one up. I want to give you one quick glance at one of them. One quick glance, and that's it. This is just from one of the sellers. There's lots of fire. Boom. Those are some of the books going to be sold this Saturday in an auction on my channel. So if you didn't see it, rewind it real quick, put it on pause, take a look at that. There's some good books from one of my friends that's going to be on the channel. Uh, later, Carlito. Thank you for hanging out. Uh, yeah, we have enough sellers, but if people want to hop in, obviously, to buy stuff on – oh, and here. Yeah, go ahead. Click that link and join my fellow Kansan. This was cool. I'm glad I didn't get a lot of information. I'm going to head out for some comics. Thanks again. Yeah, thank you, Burrito. I appreciate that. Why don't you go eat a burrito? Uh, I saw Secret Wars 8. Goodness. Was that in the picture? Yes, it was. It was. Wait a minute. My man is a reporter from Kansas. That's dope, Burke. Uh, I teach journalism at the high school level. And I went to school for journalism to be a reporter. I used to actually work in a newspaper for about a year and a half as a sports editor. I would take all the photos. Um, I would write all the articles. Obviously, I would um, call people up and interview them. I designed a whole section all by myself in one day. We do have one person joining us, my fellow Kansan. Uh, you know him as Comic Book Poser. What's up, man? Hey, what's going on? My wife saw me run into the closet, which is where I film my videos, and I'm sitting by my window because if I sit over on the other side, then I've got serial killer lighting. Oh, okay. But uh, what's up, I man? Then I live in the dream. Uh, I figured I would share something that that I've learned. So I started my channel in like April, and then really got serious about it in. I don't know, the middle of June. And in the last like 10 days, I've gone from 30 to 155 subscribers. Oh. And I think one of the things, you know, for smaller people to do in terms of growth, I'm walking around the house constantly with a, a, a earphone in uh, with just everybody's streams or videos coming up. Mm -hmm. that I'm commenting, you know, I was in the everybody take their shirt off live stream, uh, just kind of getting myself kind that, of out that there. Was that was on uh, Perry Comics. Yeah. Uh, but just kind of finding a way to, even if I wasn't sure yet with kind of the type of content I wanted to do consistently, that the moment I knew that people would kind of say hi or the same kind of people would recognize me early on, I knew the moment that I, you know, started putting some content out that that's a way that I could generate a little bit. Um, thank you, aggressively react, relaxing. Um, but that's how I could generate like a little bit of name recognition bit. or like building a little bit of relationships where I can find people that I trust to go like, Hey, can you tell me how to make this not look like hot garbage? Sure. And I think like, that's, that's been my kind of early tip. And then, you know, you're talking about having, you know, videos that, you know, you can't get over a certain number of thousands. I'm just looking to break like 60 on a video Right. So I think I'm still at that point and there was someone else who was kind of talking about being self-conscious to do something like also as someone who teaches uh, my kind of mantra is that like you can't grow without failure, right? That sure. the moment that I have a colossal like S show of a video, 
you know, I can go, ooh, that was bad, but then have kind of moments to grow from or kind of some analytics to play with where it's like people didn't like my dumb comic book news videos because nobody cares about the talking Deadpool head. So why would I do that versus something else? So I think it's just get stuff out there, find people who will watch it, and they'll give you some feedback to help you wiggle. Yeah, I definitely agree with the first part of what you said. Because, like, the first video, comic book YouTube videos that I watched were live streams with um, Matt Thanatos and Reggie Collects. They were doing one together. Mm -hmm. And it was, like, fall of 2018. And I was getting in a chat. I was commenting and all that. And then sooner or later, like, before I even, like, noticed, people were following me on Instagram and subscribing to my channel before I even put out any videos. So definitely being in the chat and a lot of other people's videos and live streams is definitely a way to mm-hmm. try to put yourself out there. Um, and I would also, YouTube used to make it a lot easier where you could just click on someone's logo in a live stream and then go to their channel and su- subscribe. Mm-hmm. They changed that, but um, you used to be able to do that. So it was a lot easier to get subscribers that way. Um, but another suggestion that I would have, if you have a question on how to do things, don't be afraid to ask. I talk to Reggie Collect all the time about different things. I talked to Bueller. I just had a phone call with him just the other day and he would give me lots of great information on how to do stuff and like advice and all that. These people have lots of subscribers. They're just like you and me. They are willing to help anyone. And if you have questions, don't be afraid to ask them because they'll definitely help you. Yeah, I'll, I'll hop out, but I know you are discriminating against me because I live in Lawrence and you I assume know. that I bleed crimson and blue. But I will leave in your style and show you this and give you a little go cats. There you go. I appreciate that, Poser. Yeah. Thanks for letting me hop in. Yeah, absolutely. Did I enter your contest right? Yeah. I'm editing that video as as we speak. So I think I'm going to release the who won on Wednesday. Cool, man. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for letting me hop in. All right. We'll see you later, bro. Yeah, have a good one. Yes, it is a very supportive community. That's what I like about it. People send AOKs all the time. I've sent some out. I've gotten a lot of awesome ones. Carlito's another person that sent me some awesome stuff. And uh, when they finally release the boys, the boys season two trailer, Carlito's joining me. We're going to do a live stream about the whole thing. Uh, I find people are really interested in my movie opinions more than my co- – yeah, see? We'll, we'll see. Uh, I got five videos on YouTube, and they're terrible. It's very nerve-wracking. I think I do them. Just have to get past that, but I have a decent setup. Nice. Uh, people have been following me from the beginning. I think Carlito's one of them, obviously. Kachun might be even one of them. Um, I don't know if anyone else is in the chat that was in there from the beginning. I used to do live streams and videos from my kitchen. There was nothing in the background except for, you know, cabinets and our refrigerator and all that. And then – I put up, I came in here, I put up like one shelf and then two shelves. And I started decorating this comic book room more. So what what the videos and live streams look like now are not what they look like from the beginning. So um, you can definitely change the way your channel appears for the better throughout time. Uh, and people won't even honestly probably remember or care how your videos looked at the beginning if they weren't good, uh, Andy. Haven't shown my face either yet, but I do a lot of going into chats just to chat. Yeah, see? There you go. Hell yeah, The Boys Season 2. I'm excited. They did release the first couple minutes. Yes, you're right, but I want a full trailer. When I do, I'll have Carlito on. Uh, Okay, thank you everyone for hanging out. Unless anyone has any other questions or anything they want to talk about, I'm going to go ahead and jump out. Make sure you check out my 1,000 subscriber giveaway. Uh, A link to that video is in the description. I'm giving away. This awesome Red Hood Outlaw 37 variant, 9-4. And New Mutants, 1890, first New Warlock. Giving away those two slabs, as well as any other, as well as a mystery, at least one mystery box if I get to 1,100 subscribers by the end of the month. So please check out the giveaway video and enter if you haven't already done so. I'm going to go ahead and, again, I'm going to put that in the chat. It is also in the description of the video. Thank you, everyone, for hanging out. I had a great time. I'm sad Jabroni had to leave because of um, evacuation of the building. Um, But I did appreciate him joining me for when he could. Uh, Thank you. Yes, I appreciate that. 
All right, guys, thanks for hanging out. Um, be on the lookout for some more of my videos and live streams. Uh, thank you guys for hanging out. And as always, go Cats, Calabunga, and it's morphin' time. <laughs>